the paper I presented today looks at whether and how gender has been integrated into the EU external action services approach to digital diplomacy. So we look at two events in 2017, so the EU's commemoration of 60 years and we also look at International Women's Day and we look at different social media accounts, so we look at Twitter and we look at how both the EAS main account and Mogherini's Twitter account, which essentially manage to communicate about the EU as a gender actor, but also how the principal gender advisor communicates. And her Twitter account, she manages herself, it's not supported centrally. Um, so what we find is actually that gender is kind of siloed into International Women's Day the principal gender advisor didn't tweet on EU, the EU's 60th anniversary, um, but also that the EAS and Mogherini's account didn't really tweet about how um, the EU supports gender equality, which we would have expected given that a lot of the rhetoric um, from the EAS talks about how um, the EU is um, a gender equality actor and that gender is a foundational norm of the EU. Yeah, so this paper makes two contributions. Um, the first is to the burgeoning literature on gender and feminist approaches to EU foreign and security policy. So to that literature, it adds an understanding of where and how the EAS um, articulates its role as a, a gender actor or doesn't. Um, and then in terms of the wider literature on digital diplomacy, um, which is in its infancy, um, but even saying that um, hasn't really sought to engage with how gender fits within digital diplomacy. So this paper provides a, a contribution to doing that and thinking about what a feminist approach to digital diplomacy might be and might consider. Um, I think the challenge for uh, gender and the EU's role as a gender actor going forward um, is we've seen some positive developments. So we have the new commissioner with a responsibility for gender equality. We also have the principal gender advisor sitting within the EU external action service. Um, but I think what hasn't quite been addressed is how internally these different roles kind of tie up um, and engage with each other. Um, and also um, that the, the EU and perhaps the EAS will continue to support these gender, these roles with responsibility for gender as a core part of what the EU does and is going forward.